all right, the question is whether we should, uh, if we are making the choice right now of whether to go with a business name or a personal name as a self-employed professional, you know, solopreneur, uh, which direction should we go? Well, um, I, you know, I, I don't have a strong opinion about it other than that if you're not sure, it's probably more flexible just to go with your personal name. Um, as a solopreneur, self-employed person, uh, your clients are going to just, no matter what your company name, business name is, they're gonna think about you, your, your own name, when they think about you and look for you online. And so it's just therefore quite efficient to just brand yourself as your name because everything they find online will be your name. But, oh yeah, that's the, that's the George Cow I'm thinking about. For example, if, I, if, I, if my company were named Authentic Business Coaching, which could be good, right? For SEO and stuff like that, right? Um, yeah, you might say, well, you have some SEO benefits with that or social media when they search authentic business or you know, business coach or whatever, you might, you might show up. But the thing is, people are still gonna go, oh yeah, I work with George Cow. I don't remember his company name. You know what I mean? Um, and so it's like, if they work with me and they wanna refer me, they're not gonna go, yes, go look up authentic business coach. No, look up George Cow. <laughs> So if you are at that decision point, um, might as well go with your name. But if you've already chosen a company name or business name that you really like, that has a special meaning to you, go for it. Just, just know that um, you know, your clients probably still think about you as, as your first and last name. Um, so yeah, I, I, think that's, I think it's fine either way. So hope that helps.